No, I have never skipped Mass because of a social gathering. Um, ever since I've been little, Mass has been very important. I was raised with um, faith being a top priority in my life. Actually, I skipped Mass yesterday because of the basketball game. I just didn't plan ahead and I mean, I feel bad now, but it's just one of those things that kind of slips out of your mind. To be completely honest, I have skipped Mass for social gatherings. Um, when I first got to college, obviously I didn't know a lot of people these social gatherings were my opportunity to get to know new people and to have new experiences that I didn't know and some of these events happen to fall on a Sunday night so sometimes I let church go by the wayside. I definitely find it more difficult to go to Mass without my family because they were kind of the ones that were like all right come on Sunday at noon. Now I, I don't have that influence and it's really just a matter of personal discipline. No because I was just more by myself at home, so I go by myself here too, with friends. I do find it a lot more difficult. Um, I have a little sister, and obviously my parents want me to go to Mass to set an example for her and get her to want to go to Mass too. And now that I'm not really so much of an influence in her life anymore because I don't live at home, I don't my go. My family had a Mass at home that we always went to, which is 4.30 on Saturday, so it was kind of routine, whereas here, um, 9 o'clock mass is kind of routine, but that's like when I do homework, so it's a lot harder to go without my family. One of the biggest struggles was actually disciplining myself in that Sunday night or Sunday afternoon or Saturday evening, getting up and like taking the initiative to go to mass. Going to mass at home, I usually went on like a Sunday morning with my family, but now that like you can go out the night before and that's usually pretty difficult to wake up the next morning so the only time I would go is like at night um, and then by that time it's hard because you're already in the swing of studying and I think it's difficult to stay true to any religion in a college environment just because when you go out to parties and stuff it's really tough to s stick to what you've been taught like all your life and um, stay true to your morals temptation yeah, there's just a lot of temptations out there, and you're exposed to a lot more than when you were in high school. That was kind of one of my worries when I was coming to college. I wasn't sure if it would have all the same things that my high school did, or I found Daughters of Isabella, which is a group of women who are all Catholic, and I found another group called Campion Society. So I think there are a lot of opportunities that college offers. Sometimes you just have to look. In high school, it was a different kind of faith that I kept up. Um, you know, I was just going with the strides at Mass, but it was also a lot more service for me. I think here, it's a different kind of, of faith, I guess. I'm going to Mass, but it's really participating because everybody, you know, wants to be there and it makes me feel better about being there. I think it was easier in high school, number one, because I was part of the campus ministry program, so we, like, planned a lot of the Masses, and obviously, because you were with your family every weekend, and we were Catholic, so we went to Mass, but, I mean, here, there is a campus ministry program, I just, I haven't gotten there yet. It was definitely easier to keep up my faith in my high school years, because it was, like, a smaller community, and, like, being involved in these clubs was kind of, like, the norm, like, all my friends did, whereas here... There's more just opportunities to do service, not really opportunities, not as many opportunities to like go on retreats. Well, service is like part of our religion, but not the only aspect of it.